Well, we've got all the doors sanded except this one, and I'm going to show you how to sand that. Mommy's going to run the camera. Thank you so much, You're baby. Yeah. We're just using this sandpaper here, and this is only the second piece of sandpaper for all of these doors. And uh, I got this nice little paddle. This is for drywall sanding, but we're using it for the doors. And all I'm doing is etching the top of this. And I'm not, I'm not doing it too much. I just wanted to show you on one particular door, and that's it. Just getting all the flat edges, not the indentation. I'm not worried about that. time on it. This is just etching the face of the, the door to let the, to let the new paint stick. Go around there and make sure there's no edges around that. Sometimes people will paint the door uh, with the door uh, handle on there. You take the door handle off, you might see a little ridge there. So you can have to Maybe do a little bit of extra work there. Now, now before I flip this door over, I'm just going to hit this edge. Both sides, I'm just kind of rolling that over. Sometimes that builds up a sharp edge. And so, because I'm painting the whole door, I'm just going to do it. Okay, you can hang on to that like that. And now I'm just going to flip this around. I'm going to do this again. The key is not to spend an arm and leg time on sanding this. You don't want to sand all the paint down. It's going to gum up your, your paper anyways. You're just etching it. Right there. Edge there. The, at the same time, I can see if there's lots of dust on the top of the door, depending how how many years it's been. Okay, now I'm going to take this and flip it. That. Do this edge. Do the top. It doesn't take very long. And you'll notice on doors. You see right here. There's two little indentations right there, and it's kind of bulged up. And then there's two down here, right there. That's because on most doors, when they're pre-hung, they've got two little nails, either one or two nails that taps the, the door into the pre-hung door jam, and they pull it out. And the, the painters, before they painted this, they didn't sand this edge down, did they? So now I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to take that down just as little. So it's not going to show. Okay, that's better. I'm going to do that right down here. 
You shouldn't see that. Okay, now, just go back down right here. I'm getting right around the, where the strike, where the latch is. I can, I can still roll this over a little bit. Do this, concentrate on my bottom edge here. Make sure it's nice and flat. You'll see on your door, if you don't do that, you know, it's not as nice. So since I'm doing the job, hey, it doesn't take much to do it right rather than doing it wrong or not doing it at all. Okay, so that's, that's how I sand it. Every single last one of these doors, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 doors. We've got, are we ready to paint? Not yet. Mommy's got to do one more thing. And what she's been doing is taking a dry rag. Where's your dry rag? Right? Here. And she's taking the dry rag. Let me just wipe down this one door that I sanded. You're going to take a dry rag now because you've got, you've got sanding dust on here. Right? Okay, so now you're going to wipe that. Wiping the edge. So I can see all kinds of dust going off of there. That means if you don't do this, when you get ready to paint, your paint is sliding and going painting over dust. Do you want that? I don't. Okay, like that. Now, don't forget, flip it around. Lots of work on these doors before I even get ready to paint them. And mommy ended up washing them down first before I even started sanding. To clean them up, get all the stickies off it, get all the goobers off, all the grind for nine years of use. I can see the dust coming off. Okay. Look at that. That's all from that one door. Now, we're, we're just about, we're going to have to do that in all the doors, all the way around, both sides. And Moby's telling me it's time to wrap it up. Okay, I hope you learned something when you get ready to paint your doors. This is Video Joe, out. And see, I'm going to have to be careful with it where the hinge, where the hinges are too. Just that little, just that little ledge. You build up too much paint on that and it will run down here so I've got I've got to be careful around the hinges I have to be careful right around this too so I don't get too uh, too much paint drops off here and wants to run there so there's a few spots I'll have to be careful along here when I I'm, I'm gonna use a four inch mini roller to paint these and on the flat surface but not not where this groove is I'm gonna have to take a paintbrush and brush all that. When I do that, I'm gonna have to be careful not to build up the edge and have it run. So you just, you know, there's a few common sense things that you're just gonna have to be careful of as you go, okay? So once I get stuff set up, before I get painted, I'll show you how it looks so that you can do this. Because see, I can't, I can't just put uh, drop cloth down or my craft paper and do the roller here because the roller is going to end up stopping about there Before it hits the craft paper and then I can't I'm not going to get a nice clean edge Along the bottom. So that's why I got the two by fours and once I cut those I'll set it up so that you can kind of see oh, that's how you're going to do it because I want these doors to mimic being raised up off the floor an inch and a half but with nothing there all nice so that I can just run the roller straight on down. And that's why I'm going to cut these 2x4s in little blocks and then I'll set up the block so that it's, it's from, this, from this edge going back that way on the back side and, and it will just prop this up off the ground. I don't want any part of the 2x4 sticking out at the front, you know, one here, one over there. I don't want them sticking out because then it's going to hit my roller when it goes down, you see? So I'll make it flush or inset, backs inset behind the edge of the, of the front edge of the door 
You know what I mean? But I'm not gonna do that until I get, until I get the rest of this stuff sanded. Here, here's some little holes here. I'll have to fill those up, probably with some caulking or something. And uh, I'll do all that before I set all this stuff up on the actual two by fours. And I, sh I should have put the craft paper down first, but I didn't. So when I get ready, I'll, I'll push the doors back a little bit and run the craft paper. Then I can set these up, hold them out a little bit and get it all set up. And then I'll show you what it looks like before I start painting, okay? Well, that's my project today. So if you wanna keep watching this video, I'll show you a few things along the way to hopefully make it a little bit easier for you on if you're gonna to decide to paint your doors. I would never paint these doors in place, by the way, with all the door handles in the way, the, the, the latch piece in the way, the hinges in the way, and all that kind of stuff. It's much easier, especially if you're gonna do all your doors, why not just do them, get them out of the house, get them in the garage, just, these are the closet doors. I'm not gonna paint those in place, forget that. You know, this is gonna make it much easier, it's gonna look cleaner, and all of that, okay? So, here I go. <laughs> 